My helmet's a little small for my really big head, but I think it looks good on me, don't you? <laughs> hey there, friends! I'm the only Sir Cracker, and I'm sitting out here in the rain. <laughs> Okay, just playing. Uh, so I'm down here. Let me take this off. Because seriously, I can't be serious with something. It's cool, but it doesn't work. So <clears throat> I have some plants that I brought outside today um, that I am trying to acclimate to the outside. And I figured, what better way to do it than bring them out in the rain when it's overcast? So this is my wonderful lemon. Isn't she awesome? She needs some more sunlight though. Her leaves are turning kind of a yellowy color. But I'll tell you what, I thought I was going to lose this thing. Um, it was growing really good and then it got the fungus. No, I keep calling them fungus gnats and they're not fungus gnats. I had a problem with those last year. These are the, the spider mites and I keep having problems with spider mites. So I brought it outside. Hopefully nature will help heal everything. And so anyways, She's going to be outside this summer, and I think I'm just going to leave her right here on the porch. Maybe put um, put it in a bigger pot. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. And then next to it are these little tomatoes that I picked up the other day. Um, these are Rutgers Heirloom Tomatoes from Bonnie Plants. Uh, and they're like, I think I got them on sale. They're like two bucks a piece. Um, so I got four of those. Um, and these are determinant so they're only going to get to a certain size and that's it and i'm going to put some pots i think going down the stairs so maybe like every other stair or something um put a plant i think that would be kind of cool um and then as you can see as it rains that section gets wet so that'll help me with not having to water as well and then here is that munchkin tomato a little long and lanky but that's okay when i go to pot it back up uh, in a new pot it will or um in the ground i'm gonna put it in the ground um i am going to put it a little bit deeper and then the long stemmy stuff uh will have roots on them eventually so but this if you remember last year uh this was the one that put on those really little tomatoes that the kids seem to like and it got really big and i made just thousands of tomatoes so i'm going to grow that this year uh probably over on the end right before you come into um into the secret garden ah, secret shh, shh, don't tell no one and <laughs> and so then they can pick those and eat those without having to actually come into the, the into the secret garden and then i've got these guys i've been growing them for a while uh it's time for them to come out and go in the ground too and i've got to find a place to put them but these are leeks, and so I'm going to be planting up leeks as well. And these have been outside now, I would say, probably for uh, about two weeks. They've been outside, so they've, they've been already acclimated to the sun. So that is what's happening with, with those. And so, yeah, and then the rest of it, it's just raining outside. Um, I'm currently undercover, uh, so I'm not getting rained on, so let me... Uh, let me put my helmet back on. Hey, is that Terry? It is Terry. Hi, Terry. I love your you, buddy. Um, you are awesome. In the rain. Just an excuse to go to. <laughs> okay. And here's what's really cool. I'm barefoot. So my toes are going to get all muddy. It's going to be great. All right. All right. So I need a sign on my gate. I'm thinking about building a sign that says Sir Cracker's Secret Garden. I think it would be really kind of cool. So I'm thinking about building a sign. Um, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find one. But <clears throat> that white pot right there, that's where I think I'm going to plant those tomatoes. Uh, those, those little teeny weeny weeny tomatoes. I think that would be a great spot. And everybody's just loving it out here. Now, I did a sh showing you guys... Uh, in my last video yesterday um, that I cleared out all of the grass. Well, I cleared out the majority of the grass in between the irises. So they they look a lot more spotty than I thought they were. I thought they were more dense than that. And then down here, the little, it's not, it's not little, 
This is a jalapeno, and she's looking really good. And I'm so excited. I put a little bit of mulch on top, and I also in the hole I dig, I dug in some compost too, and then the celebrity tomato. And I found one of these little teeny, um, uh, what's it called? Come on, help me, help me, help me. Yeah, one of those little teeny things. Um, yeah, green, yummy, delicious in the spring. I uh, can't remember right this minute, but it's okay. Uh, in here. So I decided to pull it out and put it over there in the ground. So, and as you can see too, the lilacs have decided to die off now. So we won't see any new lilac flowers until next year. And I'm thinking about moving my lilac bushes um, over here towards the front and putting one lilac bush right there in that corner. And I'm thinking about putting the other one over on this side. But I'm not quite sure yet. I think flanking the gate and the entrance would be cool. Um, I figured what I would do is get out of the rain now. Um, I figured what I would do was um, make the entrance something awesome, something grand. And then I can work on everything else in the back as time goes on. But making the entrance just something special. You know, the last thing you want to do is enter into a secret garden that doesn't feel all cool and secretive. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to feel like you don't belong there. Like, it's it's bad. You're not supposed to be. Of the stairs. And then in between, especially at the top, I think I'm going to do cucumbers and maybe some vining squash or something uh, that will trail down the stairs. I think that would be really kind of cool. So that is what I'm thinking about doing. So, yeah. All right, hey, I've been rambling on forever, but I told you that I would be here on this channel releasing a new video every single day, and that is my plan. So, all right, I'm gonna get myself uh, dried off because I feel really wet, and I know I've got some stuff I gotta kill. <laughs> so y'all have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day i'll see y'all incoming next time. message master oh i got a message see you later toodles <laughs>